And today we are here with the award-winning MC Barber. Hey guys, this is MC. Here I have really nice classic cut for you. This is your uh, classic uh, comb over average haircut in the barber shop. Uh, this haircut doesn't really leave the style I think ever. Uh, most of the haircuts in every day will be similar to this uh, and that's why it's exciting to do it. We do fades every day as well. You'll see hundreds of fades on YouTube even on my own channel uh, and different trendy styles but sometimes the traditional haircut is really some of the best work. So um, here in this haircut I will show you how to do your average uh, classic cut. Uh, this is my first time client so here I have to do a little bit reshaping as you can probably see there uh, the shape is off uh, I like to uh, create kind of a square shape on the haircuts uh, and uh, just you know reshape it and restyle it. So here I'm gonna start with uh, and you, like I'm really sometimes people will get confused even my own barbers when I first trained and was like hold on you are not starting with one and a half. Uh, one and a half I'm still gonna start with one and a half. Uh, but here I'm just since I'm starting my uh, my haircut from half in this case I just like to start it in this area with half and then I'll go back with one and a half and create a foundation and remove the bulk on the on the majority of the head so this is just one way that you can start if you like to just to change your routine so you don't feel like you're doing over and over the same thing so here now I'm coming here in a direction that it grows. I, you know, section it where I need it to be sectioned. And now I'm doing my standard technique, you see, doing one and a half. And my fade is already started uh, with my uh, fading clippers. Now you can see a slight line there between one and a half and uh, my... Uh, a half when I started my first step. Now I'll just go back and remove that and that literally will take me a few, few seconds and most of the haircut on the sides will be done. These are actually some of my favorite haircuts. They are very simple to do. This type of haircut literally won't take you more than anywhere uh, 10 to 15 minutes. I mean really stretching it is 20 minutes. Now I'm just connecting uh, my uh, fade there, so this would be my third step in this haircut. Uh, making these videos, uh, videos has been really a uh, great experience for me. Uh, we started back, I believe, in October to really do these videos, and the, res the, the feedback was great, and the response from people is great. We really appreciate your support, and we are also very uh, pleased that we can share the knowledge that we acquired over the years with you guys. So uh, please don't forget sub to subscribe if you haven't subscribed, uh, and put a thumbs up. So when it comes to the top, I always start from the crown 
I mean, ninety percent of the time, there are times when I would just start from the front as well. But in general, for better precision, and if you want to over direct, I think the best way is to start from a crown. Uh, this is simply blunt cutting over knuckles. Uh, I have over the years developed MC Barber system where uh, I have about 40 to 50 different techniques uh, between all my four categories, which is scissor category, clipper category, and a razor, a razor and a blow dryer and styling category. So four categories. Again, scissor, clipper, razor, and a blow dryer. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we'll be coming up with a system where we uh, explain every single technique in detail on video. Uh, but since I'm way be way behind on my training for the world competition, uh, I just kind of put it on the side right now so I can concentrate on my training that, uh, uh, on my competition that will happen in September in this, uh, of this year in Paris, France. But we hopefully will have it ready by the end of the year. I really hope. I I wasn't gonna rush it, so I want to do it right. So we're gonna just wait. And this is one of the techniques that I will explain. This is actually a common technique as well in the barber shops and salons. This is when most of the barbers and stylists usually nick their knuckles with scissors. And that's just because they are not really practicing the proper technique. This technique you can uh, execute without even looking what you are doing and not cut yourself as long as you are practicing the proper technique. Scissor over comb is another technique that is difficult to master, uh, but it's really a uh, must technique in barbershops and salons. We hold barbershop. Uh, we we hold workshops in uh, my barbershop right now because of uh, just how busy I am right now. I can't travel, but maybe after this year I will be able even to travel to uh, salons and uh, shops around the country. But for now, we only hold them in our barbershop. Uh, we do one on one, and we also do a uh, whole team training uh, where you can bring your whole team uh, and uh, you can be trained on MC Barber system, learn how to do uh, razor work, scissor work, clipper work, and uh, finishing or blow drying and styling, which is very important. Uh, we are going to hold a barber, I mean, uh, we are going to hold a workshop on April 24th. It's Monday, a day after uh, Connecticut Barber Expo since a lot of barbers from around the country come uh, to Connecticut uh, for Connecticut Barber Expo, which is the largest barber expo in the world. Uh, we decided to hold uh, our workshop on the Monday right after. We've been getting calls from around the country, so we figured this will be convenient for them. However, we're gonna probably only take six people in the workshop. Also, uh, it's gonna be a hands-on class, eight hours. So for more information on that workshop, uh, you can give us a call at 860-995-5779 and uh, we'll go from there.
and there it is guys uh, your classic uh, haircut this is before a before picture and this is after thank you for watching guys really appreciate it uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet uh, mcbarber.com is my website uh, the MC Barber is my social media I'm in Instagram uh, P H E M C Barber uh, my Instagram and MC Barber is my Facebook uh, thanks a lot until next time take care of yourself